Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued playing let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. This is run number two, the Ruthless Failure Run. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is your Story Based Gaming Channel, and I hope you are all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day as we dive back in to the Phantom of Cedar Still, Chapter 5. Let's see how much misery and suffering we can cause today. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting today by trying to find our way into the mill. And we're going to try to press on with that as fast as humanly possible. Not try to find anything. Yep, yep, we this way of fellow travelers. Right Just got to find a way up. I'll move out of my Haven't way. Maybe I'll... Your dad about that night? Can you, can you... What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? Always getting blocked in this game. <laughs> there was one time. When I was little, and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He should... Just following the arrows. Ooh, that went too far. So I supposed to go on that door? Nope, there's an arrow. Nearly there. Gotta love a scenic route. And as I start today's playthrough, I'm feeling that we're gonna run into some danger today. I just get that feeling. I don't know for sure. Maybe it's will be the next episode, not today's episode. But I do wanna say that if I don't get someone killed the way you want them to get killed, don't worry. Don't freak out. We can always go back and and see what happens when we can get them killed a different way. So I just wanted to mention that because the nature of the, the ruthless failure run is going to oh, be thank goodness. you yes. fail ruthlessly. Robert, you're a genius. Good call. Which means oh, Storm Jane. Thank you, Robert. I'm probably going to fail. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sack. And areas no that are going to get done. people killed faster than what you might want them to get killed. So I'm just letting you all know. I don't think the first death happens until Jaime though? Question mark? I, I'm not... Hmm. See if I had my cutting room floor I could look at this better but I don't. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe that's a good thing that to not be exactly sure, right? I mean, it, it kind of makes it suspenseful in a way. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Let it go, everybody. <clears throat> Disapproving or insistent? Uh, disapproving. I think last time was insistent. You don't think you're being a little premature with the face sucking? I just wrapped my first movie. I can celebrate however I want. But we're not technically wrapped. Huh? We still have one more scene to shoot. Wait, what's the last scene? You're annoyed uh, Chris forgot right. his scene. Yeah, Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. The pit of hell itself. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. See, it sounds like a deliciously awful thing to do. Let's do it. Huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. 
Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. <laughs> okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I love gotcha. that scene. Not cool, <laughs> Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> so it looks like what she joins us no matter what. I'm part of the crew. That shirt was not for you. But it looks so good on me. Seriously, Bonnie, what are you doing here? Um, I think the real question is, what are you doing here? I asked you first. This doesn't look like a double date at the movies. Uh, yeah, it's... It, it looks like you're finishing your movie. <laughs> it's not... What? Yeah, we're finishing the movie, and don't try and stop us. Whoa, easy there, maestro. I'm here to help. Remember? We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh no, no, no. I mean, th uh... <clears throat> Linda? Relaxed? Familiar. I don't care if she tags along. Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. Uh, I think I chose familiar last time, but it seems like the best choice. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Find the door to the furnace chamber. Fear the future. I don't think I've ever been here before. Hmm. I have to remember this. I have to remember this in the future, if I can. Y'all heading to the door? Let's go to the door. I'm really looking forward to the redemption run, just for the exploratory things. All right, it's going to be a much slower playthrough. And I do apologize for that, but it's going to be interesting to really take the time to double check everything. Okay. No, yeah. It's just this is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know. It's different. All right. Let's just follow the crew. I'm in such a hurry and everyone else is walking. I'm like, move it! Let's go! Got a film to shoot! Double time, double time! That's not bad. Uh, guys? Okay, there we go. I was wondering what's going on. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. 
already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. And cut! I heard that again. Dad, that was sick! Totally felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but... Don't sweat it. We're going to replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Approving or hesitant? Uh, you were good? Question mark? You were good. Wow. <laughs> okay. So neither of us are very good actors, huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you were fine. But, you know, maybe it's just not your calling. Honestly, I kind of hate it. I feel like next time I might want to try something easier, like directing. What do you got? Oh, oh, oh. We got. Uh, um, da, da. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. I, I love how I'm uh, failing okay. my failure That's playthrough. Not what I sounded like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm it was pretty so spot bad on. At this. I agree. I did so I many of these failure playthroughs, and I still you suck at them. You do impressions me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids, that was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously, I'm impressed. But uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. Oh, I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? Meanwhile, everyone else is like, this is so awkward. We're just going to stay I out of this. When you were gone. Look at Chris in the background and Robert. They're just slightly off scene. Like, I, I don't want any part of this. Strain, I'm gonna go to some air. Casual, wanna come outside? Bonnie? Uh, restraint. Uh, I'm just gonna go get some fresh air. You should probably go too. What, like, go, go? I don't think I want you here right now. So, oh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still going to have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. 
Uh... Hey, Chris. Is all to the razor camera. Okay, how can I mess this up? Holy! What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa! Ain't that something? Ah, brass. What's up? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. That did it. Okay, let me get more. Trying to purposely not. Guess we're making an erotica now. I don't think I can. I don't think I can cause a failure state here. We'll go five times. Like I said, five times is usually a good number. Besides, Booker T would approve. Uh, okay. Yep, I, I, I can't do anything with this. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, you can see like the green fly at me. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Sweet, we just got a little bit of it, but not much. Just like a little tiny bit. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. You just gonna stay there? I mean, if you wanna hang back, that's fine. No. No, I'm coming. Good, we're sticking with this team. I kinda wanna stick with this team until we get to that uh, first major choice. Because I think that's the first time we are actually truly in danger, right? Could be mistaken. I think it is, my dad though. Would kill me if you knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been. Long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was... Like, I remember this. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. So, now that we found it, we've seen it, we can go, right? No way, man. We've got to look around first, see what we can find. Definitely too good of an opportunity to pass up. Sure. You really think we're gonna find anything the police missed? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. <laughs> if Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not there. Was this all in our first playthrough? Uh, I just don't remember that point. line. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Gotta be a way to get up there. Do I need cogs for this? I think I do. This should open the door, right? Maybe 
Need to look through here to see the key. And then... I don't think I climb up this. I... Don't remember... Don't remember the exact path here. It needs power. So we have to find the... The generator? I think I need to get in that room as well to get the key. How do I get in there? Don't remember fully. Did I talk to Chris? Keep looking around. Find anything? Not yet. See that big roller door over there? Yeah. It should lead us right back outside. <laughs> what? Right now? Yeah, why not? I don't want to go anywhere until I've gotten a better look inside that thing. I really don't know how we're going to get up into it. See that box car? Yeah. If we could get into that, then up onto its roof, there's like a railing there. A gantry. Yeah, it goes right across to the freight wagon. I tried to get into the box car. It's locked. You know... I did see a key in the office. There we go. There we go. So now I just need to figure out how to get into the office. I do it last time. Where are you going? Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, there. That's what we needed. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <sighs> hey, can I ask you something there? Oh, what's up? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Because you suck? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides she works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. Yeah, you could be the first one to die. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't... Um, God, the ruthless one brings out the ruthless in me. <laughs> We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to... I'll do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way. That... Yep, that's exactly it. Aggressive, impatient, aggressive. Take him out. Let's have a punch scene. It Throw definitely it up, seems like you're trying to get in the way sometimes, on purpose. I, I don't know what you're... You can't tell me you're not trying to make a move on my girlfriend. What? Chris, come on. I, Dude. Man, if I was going to make a move on somebody, you think I'd do it here? Where my dad almost died bringing down a serial killer? Yeah, that's, what, that's the type of sick trick you are. Chris, then yeah, you would. What's up, party people? No, nothing. Hi, hi. Chris, how you doing? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Then we can get the key Jaime found. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. That's right, I'm a real man. Let's go scrounging. I'm gonna go and press the girl by get this generator working. And then get everyone killed. Cause that's right. That's how I roll. 
And I just realized such horrible people we are because we're not wearing goggles. Yeah, I mean, it's just clearly here, wear goggles and we don't wear goggles. I mean, we're, we're pretty horrible people to not have goggles. All right, let's go get the parts. Part one? This might work with the generator. Now I think the other part is on the other side. If I remember correctly. It's like right over here. All right, dude, move. I know it's here somewhere. It's like a cog or something, right? There. Could help with the generator. Okay, that's not a cog, but it, it, it still works. How's the generator coming? Basically done. Just got to finish the repairs. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a tutorial section, so there's no consequences for failing. But you know what? I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> Is someone gonna do it for me? Nice going. That moves a lot slower on the second difficulty. I can only imagine what the the, what the beginner's difficulty is like, because that moves super slow. You okay? Yeah, uh, fine. Just a little smoky. Hey, I'm all in one piece still. I'll fix the generator. Oh, really? Really? He's just got to do that to me. Quick, kick him into the generator. Good work. Good kick right there. Just Boom. doing my job, man. Then we just got rid of. Then we just got to get rid of Linda, and then we'll be all alone with Chris. Then we push her into a train, and then we become the new bad guy. Ha 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 ha! You know, I always, I always, I always had a, uh, I always had a, a uh, fan fiction thing, where there's this thing you could do in Until Dawn, oh, yeah. that makes yeah, one I'm of the characters somewhere. almost psychopathic in a way. And I always thought that that character should be the villain in Until Dawn 2. Uh, basically continue that storyline. And that would just be amazing. There's gotta be another way to get that key. If you know what I'm talking about, cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure I'll do it on my remaster playthrough. Because I think it's just such a cool scene that... It's one of those scenes you just got to see to believe because it just is it, It's so cold What you can do. It's just so cold I have no idea how I'm gonna do the until dawn playthrough I played that game a couple times when it came out before uh, this channel existed And I have no idea If I should do an honest playthrough a ruthless playthrough um or what? Because the bottom line is, I mean, I played it. Okay. So. What have we here? Yeah, I, I know that the remake may add some additional stuff, but at the same time, hmm. it just has me curious on the best way to play that game. Car. You get the key? Yep, of course I did. It's got a label on it. Cause your boyfriend's awesome. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. Oh man. I see what it is. You love Frank Stone more than me. Where's that train? I need to find it. Let's see if the key <laughs> unlocks the box car.
make your way up to the train. Up. Still need to go up. Uh, up. I had it. I had it. I had it. I had it. It's kind of dark, so it is hard to see. Over here. I did hear, sadly, for Dead by Daylight fans that apparently they would want to make a first person shooter in Dead by Daylight, uh, but they canceled the idea. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, I don't know. I mean, I always like it when a game takes a risk. So, I mean, they took a risk on this game and it's fantastic. <sighs> Hasn't it? Are you really sure you want to do this? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, dang it, Chris. You're lucky I'm more quick on the draw than this guy. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I failed that one. <laughs> yeah, well, check it. Wow. So we could I just push them both off. That would be cool. Insane in the membrane. Okay, how do we get out of this without searching for anything? Because I'm pretty sure we actually have to discover this stuff. Oh, oh, right here. This must be how Stone got in and out. Okay, well, we had to discover something, but we could leave the other things behind. Ugh. What the fuck? What is it? Oh, damn. I think she was one of Stone's victims. There, we got her. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. We well, can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You wanna fuck with that? Yeah, that's also the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were- Robert's right. We should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. Yeah, Robert's just right, Jaime. Don't touch anything else, mm. okay? We should get the hell out of here. That's right, coward. Run. Oh. I am the coward still. I'm sorry, I thought we switched to uh, Chris. <laughs> Try to get in character here. We gotta go. We should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. Apprehensive or shocked? Um, shocked. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. Uh, sure, yeah. 
can't miss an opportunity to exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second look at him. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I could think about is you and Robert. I asked him straight up if he was trying to... If he was interested in you, he didn't deny it. Oh, my God. I mean, what the hell, man? I... I... I love spending time with you, and I love making this movie with you. But I don't do jealous guy. Sorry. Not what I signed up for. So if that's how it's gonna be, then... Maybe that's it, then. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? I mean, maybe it was fun while it lasted, but that's it. Well, yeah? Well, screw you. And your little puppy, too. I get the feeling this is less of a question and more of a statement. Well... Not gonna be able to change your mind, am I? Probably not. And that's it, huh? So we're breaking up. I I've got to get this shot. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, that's a weird angle. All that music in the background. I don't know. Like revving up. It just stops. Hashtag not my girlfriend anymore. Too late. I think we need to work on our distance and relationships. Beyond the Gate, Chapter 6, Garrett Manor, 2024. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. No, does, Sherlock. There's an empty slot. So there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. 
Maybe we had to sacrifice Stan. Why would anyone Stan? put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. Almost <laughs> like you knew. <laughs> Search the top floor. Come on, Linda, let's go, let's go. Okay, I think on this one we have to get the items. Question is, which ones? Should I, I mean, these don't affect my story at all. Have I gotten this one before? I don't think I've gotten that one before. Collection. Yeah, we didn't get this one before. The Legion. Frank, Julie, Susie, and Joey. Before they were simply friends, now they are Legion. They thought they deserved better than Ormond. Now they found a place where they play by their own deadly rules and could express their shared frenzy to its fully potential. Kind of creepy. On her back. It's like a Kozar torn. She's got like hair coming out. It's kind of a disturbing model. How many do we missing here? We're missing one, two, three. And we're going to make sure that we get all three of those in the next run. Yeah, I think this is something I need. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. <laughs> well, Link does. Go in a dungeon, you find a key. There's gotta be a, a lock nearby. And then it's right here. Hmm, something's missing. So now I need to find the uh, the piece which is downstairs. I'm trying to do this in order to make sure that I don't get anything that I'm not supposed to get. Uh, this thing. You're coming with me, buddy. I'm just gonna make that magically disappear in my pockets. I mean, hey, if people playing RPGs can do it, why can't I? Let me put this here. Got the What's hammer. This? Some sort of toy hammer. Which Looks goes like it should go with something. Here. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Perfect. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Nice. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Uh, how do I do pattern. this? I can't make heads or tails of it. Or How do heads I do this? Heads and heads. Like, I, I did this by accident in the first playthrough. And I have no idea what it is I did. I have no idea what I did. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I have no idea. How the heck did I do it so quickly in the first playthrough? That's what I want to know. 
Like, I literally just changed like three things and it opened. It was so weird. Let's go back to the first one. I mean, there's only so many possibilities here, right? How did I do it so easily before? Alright, there we go. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Let's be line it directly to the table. This is... No. There's no way. It can't be. Well, it's a break. Hey, can't Linda. Be. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Emblem. Contain wells of great power can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I wish I had more time to read that. I have to pause it. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Yeah, she's... Uh... You know what, let's Maybe? just take it. Sounds like a good idea. Wow, Stan. Right in the leg. Sheriff Sweep Jane. the leg, Johnny. All right, this is this is something I've been looking forward to. A perilous place, Chapter Seven, Cedar Mill Hill. 1980. This, this is what I've been wondering because the camera scenes the are very room, easy to do. He doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, so long as if you don't kid, do them right. Parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie, he can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie, huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh, cold. Yeah, I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Nah. Thanks, but probably shouldn't drink on the job. You sure? I should drink it. I said nah because I was hoping it would hurt the relationship. I should. I should got drunk. <sighs> Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be alright. He just needs to grow up. 
You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. Ah, uh, none of that. <laughs> none of that. Unless you count my many unrequited love affairs with long dead authors. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that I'm a corpse crusher? That this town's not worthy of you. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth. And ended right <laughs> back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right bands you know i started a band to get girls but i made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band oh she was cool but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite she and the band pretty much moved on without me you deserve better than that yeah i think so too Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. What would have been yeah, cool if sure. she took off her hat? I know it's an alternate costume, but I don't care that. It just would have been cool to have, like, the costumes change in the middle of the gameplay. Find the others. Mom comes home, it's lickety splits bill for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure. I... <laughs> I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. Jaime's here. We're getting a shot of the. And the jar and, and Chris saw something that was only in the camera, but she freaked, and then there was this crazy sound. I hope Jaime does a dialect immediately right like, after that. Pulling her and, oh my god, buddy, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god. I do want to see him survive oh, just a little oh, bit longer. Okay, it's okay, we're here. It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. We gotta get out of this place. We gotta get out of here right now. We gotta go. Jaime, slow down. We found it. We found his, like, secret hideout. Whose hideout? Frank Stone. No one ever found him before. You sure? Robert went to get his dad. Where's Chris? The door. The, the, the pulled her. And she's gone. Chris is gone. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna go check it out. You should get him some air. Outside. Oh, oh no. This may not be the best idea, Linda. Okay. What will you be able to tell us? That stuff just got real. Or unreal. Or undead. Or... I don't know. I mean, whatever. Okay. Okay. I gotta get back to Jaime and Bonnie. Jaime and Bonnie must be waiting outside. Uh, question is, if I fail with her, does she just get impaled? 
I mean, it's I should go a bad back thing and find to try. Others. Surprised nothing happened on the way back yet. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here now. No, no, we gotta wait for Linda. Linda, did you find anything? Jaime? Uh, he's okay, but not okay. I think there was something <laughs> he's okay, but not that okay. gave him that cut on his head. <laughs> something like what? Uh, apparently, only Chris saw it through the camera. Come on, let's go, let's go! I really hope Jaime doesn't die here. I want someone else to die. I want something else to happen. So cool how the flames follow. No, don't go that way. Again, this is where, this is where the uh, the cutting room floor would have really helped. But you know what? How many people probably purposely failed this section? Is he coming closer? It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. He might. I mean, he might. It's. I, I don't think he is. I think he's kind of stuck there. Like, I think this is just a tutorial. And I don't think he can fail this tutorial. Okay, do me a favor, Olaf. You can actually fail this by just leaving this for like an hour. Let me know and I'll come back and do that. But for now, I don't think he's getting any closer. So, I think we've waited long enough. Oh, oh, oh. Now he's coming closer. Oh my god, that thing is so terrifying. Okay, we're gonna get hooked. <laughs> happened much faster than last time. So in order to avoid getting hooked, you have to do everything correctly. You have to do all the camera sections. You gotta do the generator section. You gotta do everything perfectly. Okay, it's good enough for the future. Chapter 8, Mystery Manor, Grant Manor 2024. I, I do think I need to pause here for the day, though. We're almost at an hour. Ah, I, 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 oh, man. I really want to see what happens if you don't do anything with the camera, though, in some of these other locations. But unfortunately, like I said, we're at an hour, so it is time to call it a day. Uh, much love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And yeah, we, we will be back very, very soon. Don't worry. Yes, we will be back very soon. Until next time, my dear friends, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.